uh, one of the agenda items that the executive committee and the central committee of the prosperity party have deliberated upon in the previous week was concerning um, the option of the peaceful resolution of the conflict in the northern part of Ethiopia. Uh, the basis for the deliberation was a report submitted by a committee which has previously been established by the executive committee of the prosperity party. This committee had been established to explore the prospect of the peaceful resolution of uh, the conflict. After a careful consideration and study of uh, the matter, this committee established to explore the peaceful resolution of uh, the conflict had reported back to the executive committee and the uh, central committee of um, the party. Uh, both committees have deliberated upon the report and the recommendations of this committee uh, and they have unanimously decided that the effort to find a peaceful solution to the conflict in the north should continue and should be strengthened further. The basis for this decision, factors that have been taken into consideration while reaching upon uh, this decision include uh, the fact that we have always preferred a peaceful resolution to disagreements um, and disputes, and the fact that this was not a conflict that we have uh, preferred, this is not a conflict that we have uh, entered into uh, with our free volition, and this is not something we chose. Uh, this is a conflict that has been imposed upon us uh, even prior to uh, the commencement of the conflict. Uh, the ruling party, the federal government, has done uh, everything within their power to find an amicable solution to the uh, conflict. Uh, once the conflict had uh, started as well, uh, including through a declaration of a unilateral ceasefire, the federal government has tried its level best to find a peaceful resolution uh, to the conflict. This is something that I hope everyone uh, records. Furthermore, uh, both committees have uh, taken into account the fact that peace is essential and of paramount importance for our political and reform initiatives to succeed. Furthermore, uh, both committees have underscored the need uh, to put an end to this tragic chapter in our history and to move forward. Uh, both committees have expressed an aspiration to move towards reconstruction, rehabilitation, and reconciliation of the communities that have been affected by the conflict. Both committees have also reiterated the need to avoid further bloodshed and to end the suffering and misery that has been occasioned by uh, the conflict. Uh, furthermore, both uh, committees have expressed the need to foster national consensus through a process of inclusive national dialogue. So these have been the factors and considerations that have been, uh, that are behind the decision of the central and executive committees of the Prosperity Party. Now, uh, coming to the principles that both committees have adopted as being uh, framework principles that should guide uh, the peace process, uh, both committees have underscored that the process should be pursued in a manner that is in accordance with and that optimizes the following fundamental principles. First, respect of the constitutional order and constitutionalism. Second, respect for the fundamental national interests of uh, the Ethiopian people and the Ethiopian state. And third, uh, the African Union as the facilitator of the process in accordance with the principle of African solutions to African problems. So I would like to reiterate uh, the fact that while both committees have underscored the need to pursue a peaceful resolution of the conflict. They have also emphasized the need that um, any outcome of uh, such a process should be within the bounds of these three principles that I have stated. Um, respect for the constitutional order, 
uh, respect for fundamental national interests and the role of the African Union as the facilitator, as the lead of the process. Uh, furthermore, both committees have uh, emphasized uh, the need to be ready for any eventuality and outcome. Both committees have underscored that while we remain committed to the peaceful resolution of the conflict, given the nature and history of the entity we are dealing with, uh, it might not, and the fact that it might not be considered as a reliable partner for peace, the respective relevant uh, national defense and security uh, institutions should be ready for any eventuality and any outcome. Both committees have emphasized the need to be ready for all eventualities. Uh, we want to give peace a chance. We are committed to the peaceful resolution of the conflict. We do our level based uh, to make our agenda for peace a success. However, uh, we are also realistic about the daunting challenge ahead of us and the need to be ready for any provocation or attack. So we hope for and work for the best, but we shall be prepared for scenarios that are far from the best. Uh, so this is something that uh, both committees have wanted to convey. Finally, uh, the Central uh, Committee and the Executive Committee of the Prosperity Party would like to call upon all Ethiopians from all walks of life, uh, from all parts of the region, uh, to support this peace initiative and this peace effort. And both committees would also like to call upon the international community and friends of Ethiopia to play a constructive role and support this peace initiative and agenda. I thank you.